it can be really hard to connect the dots between our nutrition, what we're eating, and how we're feeling if we're struggling with anything related to our health. Typically, we just think that if I eat something and I'm sensitive to it or it doesn't agree with me, I might have some digestive discomfort. And if we don't experience that, we don't connect the dots in food and a health condition. So when I first purchased Tana Amen's The Omni Diet book, that's, that's kind of what happened to me. Um, I decided to read her book and implement her suggestions and try her recipes and kind of do the Omni Diet thing. And after we had started that, a few weeks later, I was really enjoying the recipes and we were eating really good food. And a few weeks later, I realized that something that had been happening to me stopped happening. What had been happening was I kind of always felt like I was on this roller coaster of not feeling good, just kind of feeling kind of icky below the weather. And I would say to my family, gosh, I feel like I'm fighting something. I feel like maybe I'm fighting a virus. Um, my immune system is really fighting. I'm trying to overcome something because my symptoms were a low grade fever, like 99 ish. And I would feel kind of like flu like symptoms, achy, tired. And then all of a sudden I would feel better. And I thought, oh, my immune system fought something off. Um, also, at the time, I was a classroom teacher. I had kids in school, so I just thought that you know viruses and cold and flu stuff was trying to trying to grab me. After we shifted our diet, I realized I wasn't feeling that way anymore, and it must have been because of the shift in nutrition. Come to find out what I realized after kind of, you know, adding some foods back in and then not feeling well and kind of that back and forth, almost like elimination diet wise, I realized it was gluten that was giving me the low grade fever and the flu like symptoms. And that was inflammation in my body, like systemic, internal, chronic inflammation. When I eat too much gluten, I get these symptoms that have nothing to do with digestive upset. So I didn't connect the dots. But when I eat gluten, I get inflammation in my body that causes fever, achy, tired, flu-like symptoms. Now I know. Now I know to stay away from gluten. Even though I had been tested for celiac and I tested negative. Um, also through that process, I realized now if I eat too much dairy, that will affect my digestion. <laughs> I'll spare you the details, right? But my tummy isn't quite right. When I go to the bathroom, that's unpleasant, right? So as we start to eliminate things or inflammatory foods, whether we do a clean sweep or whether we eliminate things one by one, pay attention to how you feel. You might even want to keep a food diary or a food journal in what you're eating or not eating and how you feel overall, whether it's digestive or not. Through this process that we've been on, we also come to find out my husband actually has more food sensitivities than I do. He's reacting right now to all grains, including rice. Yes, that does give us an extra challenge in meal planning where I can say, oh, that's great, rice is gluten-free. My body can tolerate that really well. His cannot. And he will get, uh, he'll start with like sinus symptoms, almost like an allergy reaction, sinusy, congestion. Then his asthma will kick up and then he'll start to get bloated in his digestive system. And so together we've been on this journey of just finding what foods, you know, nutrition style, I don't like to use the word diet. Um, that implies like we're trying to lose weight or some, something, right? That's, that's not what we're about. We just wanna feel our best and avoid eating foods that are aggravating our health and making us not feel well. So, as we start to talk a little bit more about food styles, I'm gonna say that, food styles rather than diet, and finding what works for you, pay attention to how you feel because we're gonna talk about eliminating foods that cause inflammation and how that can really help you feel better and get your body to a place where you can start to heal.